Well, you guys, today we'll take a look at everything you need to know about Windows 10 LTSC and Windows 10 IoT LTSC versions. Now, so many people are turning to these as an alternative to Windows 10 because it's reaching end of life. But you can see here Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 1809 is the version I'm running here. So a lot of people are thinking of installing Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE versions or IoT LTSE versions on their computer because it's a long-term servicing channel, which means that you will stay on this 1809 version if you're running this version right here. And there is other versions of Windows 10 like these, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. But it generally means that when you're updating your version of Windows like this, as a home user, you would generally get feature updates and security updates. But if you're running one of these LTSE versions, you will only receive security updates for this version. These are long term servicing channels, which means that they will stay on this version until end of life. And these can vary uh, throughout different versions of these Windows 10. Now, also, there's work versions of Windows 11 that do LTSE as well. And we'll talk about that in another video. We're sticking with Windows 10 here. So let's go through some of the questions that people ask about this version of Windows. What about licensing and activation? Well, Generally, these are acquired through the volume licensing program, which means that this will be a volume license activation. This means these versions of Windows are generally uh, designed for businesses or companies, and that's basically who they're for. So home users generally get hold of these ISOs, install them, and they use illegal ways of activating them, which is not advisable. So you can see here, we do have 1809. But if we look at the list here on the Enterprise and IoT Enterprise versions, you can see this is the version we have here. It's the 2019-1809 version, long-term servicing channel, LTSC version. The end of servicing for this version is in 2029, which is quite a long way away. So we've got uh, other versions here, which is 2021, 21 H2 version, which is the IoT enterprise only version. And this also has right up until 2032. So you can see end of life for these versions are quite long. And again, if you're looking at the IoT enterprise only version, that is right up until 2032. But again, you're going to run into some other issues, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in a video. So if you have any of these versions, you can do an in-place upgrade to a newer version, but you will lose uh, programs and activation for those versions. And I'll show you that in this video as well. So if you're looking to upgrade to another version, always make sure you have all of the latest updates and make sure that you uninstall any antivirus program on your system. If you're using Windows Defender, it's OK. But if you're using any third party program, you're going to want to uh, disable that. So also another thing I want to point out, which a lot of people don't talk about on YouTube because they talk about using these versions of Windows as excellent gaming additions. But really what you're going to run into is when you go to download software in the future. Now, this is a version that still has plenty of life in it up until 2029. But as you'll see when you start going to install software later on down the line, because it was never really designed for home use, you're going to start running into critical errors where it says that this version cannot be installed because your version of Windows is too old and you'll need to upgrade your version of Windows to the latest version to be able to install software, just like you can see right here. And this is just Armory Crate. So if we're going to be using this operating system up until 2029, then you can see you're going to run into some serious issues with other software later down the line because it's going to get really old very quickly because it was never really designed to install all of this software onto it because it was meant for company use. And you can see it wants you to now install Windows 10 version 1903 or later. And this happens because the version of Windows is 1809, which means it's very old. You can see here, uh, this is going to run right up until 2029. 
So these issues are just going to get worse as time goes on. And this is just for Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2019. Can you imagine running Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSE 2021 in 2032? That version of 21H2, which is what this version has on it, and it will never be upgraded. As you can see here, it's 21H2 version. This one I'm using on this computer is 1809. And you've got also older versions here. These are going to be problematic for you in the future. So 21H2 is going to be on the IoT versions up until 2032. By then, that would have reached end of life for a lot of home users. And you are going to run into major issues with other things like browsers and, uh, you know, Steam and maybe other software, which are going to see support for that version of Windows because it would have reached end of life long ago. You can see 21H2 reaches the end of life in June 11, 2024. That's for home users. But for businesses, that's going to continue on up until 2032. But they're not going to be installing all of the latest software like Steam, games and other things like that onto their computer, which will you will start receiving messages like I showed you there saying you're running an old version of Windows and it won't let you install it. So don't get duped by these YouTubers telling you this is a viable option to keep your old computer running up until 2032 because you will run into issues. And you can see this is when the end of life happens for this version of Windows. And it's going to stay on 21H2 for the foreseeable future. It's not going to change. So this is probably not a viable option for you. So I dread to think of what sort of issues you're going to run into with this operating system in the future running an old version of 21H2 uh, on Windows 10 IoT because they were never really designed for home use, which means they're never ever going to have this sort of software installed on them because they're just a device running in the back end uh, doing some sort of display for advertising or something like that or other things. So bear that in mind before you start going to download and install this and thinking this is a viable option to keep your old PC running. Another thing is, is activation. You're not going to be able to get license keys for these legitimately. It's not going to be possible. So that is another problem. And if someone's telling you you can, you can't, and you're going to end up with issues. The only way to get this activated will be in a pirated way, and that is not advisable. So to do an in-place upgrade, make sure you've got all of the updates done for your version of Windows, and then uninstall any third-party antivirus program. You can create a folder on your desktop and you can call this Windows 10 or whatever it is you want to call it. And you need to mount the ISO once you've downloaded it. Again, getting hold of the ISO is not going to be straightforward because Microsoft do not offer links for home users. They will offer links to trial versions of this version of Windows unless you are a customer and you are paying then they will offer you links then, but you will not get them as a home user because it's not designed or meant for home use. It's meant for businesses and devices. So you would have to use your own methods to get an ISO file. That's another problem you're going to have. But next up, what we've got is all the files into this Windows 10 folder on our desktop. And we're going to open this up and we're going to double click on the setup file and say yes. And it will then restart and give you this screen right here. Now, before you get too excited, remember that the activation for the older version of Windows, which is Windows 10 LTSE uh, 2009, that activation will not carry over for this version of Windows, which is what we're going to be rolling out here. It's not going to activate and it will deactivate your version of Windows because these are volume licenses and it won't carry over. So bear that in mind. The other problem you're going to have is all of the programs and settings will be removed and reset. And all of the data will be inside the windows.old folder, which you will have to get from there. It will not copy that over. So bear that in mind if you are going to roll out an upgrade from Windows 10 uh, LTSE to Windows 10 IoT LTSE. You don't have to touch the screen. It's going to restart a few times and then it's basically going to start 
doing the upgrade process. It's always advisable really to back up all your data and do a fresh clean install of this version of Windows rather than doing an in-place upgrade like I'm showing you here. So a lot of people have asked about in-place upgrades, installation, activation, and all this sort of stuff. And hopefully this video will answer all of your questions in one video. So I will speed this upgrade process up so you don't get bored. It's gonna restart a few times, but just leave it and it will go ahead and start to upgrade as you can see here. So there was a little error there on the screen, but again, we are now on Windows uh, 10 IoT LTSC 21H2, as you can see right here. And again, you will lose your activation if you was on a previous version of uh, the LTSE versions. So you can see here, it's not activated anymore. That is gone. Now, if I rolled back, the activation will come back. But again, you won't be able to use that key with activation here. The IoT versions are a volume key, and you will need to uh, acquire those through Microsoft. There's no way of getting those keys in a legit way on the internet. It's just not possible. So you can see here, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSE, 21H2, that will last until 2032, and you will stay on 21H2 for the entire period. So you will not be able to upgrade from 21H2 with this version of Windows. Now, again, like I said before, you are going to run into major issues later on down the line because 2032 is a long way away. So by then, Windows 10 will be long dead and gone and companies will start to move on and stop supporting these 21H2 versions. So you may run into difficulty uh, with software because remember this version, like I said already, uh, was not really designed for desktop use. It was really designed for devices in buildings and, and companies. So here we can see all of the downloads are gone. It's a fresh install, basically. And all of your data will be lost if you do this method. You will have to go in to get that data back inside the windows.old folder because we did do an upgrade. So if you're looking for something that's going to keep all your data in place in your Windows settings and carry the activation over, this is not it. It's not going to work. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at the location here inside uh, this PC because you will see all the data is still stored in the windows.old folder. So let's go in here and go to windows.old. This is the older version of Windows. Go to users and then into the account and into the download section because that's where data was and you can see it is there. So I could drag this out if I wanted to. Remember, after 10 days, this, this windows.old will be removed from the system. So it's not advisable to do this because obviously the data will be lost if you don't uh, drag it out of there. And there's no guarantee that all of the data will be carried over. So backing up your computer is the best way forward and probably doing a fresh install of this version of Windows anyway. But I just wanted to answer people's questions and hopefully this helps people out. Again, is it a viable option? Probably not for a lot of people, but there is going to be the hardcore few people that are going to do it and use, uh, you know, alternative ways of activating this because that's what they're going to do, unfortunately. But that's not my problem. Let me know in the comments section what you think about LTSE versions and whether you're going to be using that version of Windows 10 for the foreseeable future for your old computer. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.